We are in Backup Exec 15. I'm going to show you how to restore an individual file or folder. So you don't have to restore the whole backup. You just may want to restore a particular file that might have gotten deleted or corrupted. So what you want to do is you want to click the Restore button. Uh, so let's go ahead and click back on Servers. Make sure the server we want is highlighted. And then click Restore. Now we just want specific files and folders uh, or volumes. We don't necessarily need um, all these other things going on. So let's just go ahead and click that. And you can choose either one of these file and folder backups at a point in time or from a backup set. Either way, you'll get to where you need to go. All right, so we'll go ahead and click the first one and you can see everything is dated and it'll tell you what it's, what's been backed up. Click the second one and it looks there we go, pretty much the same. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check the box. This is the file that we want to restore. Let's click Next. And we want to restore to the original location, although you can change to a different location if you want to, say, restore it to the uh, you know, desktop or something like that. You can also change the logon account, just in case the logon account doesn't have the rights to those files that you want. And let's go ahead and click Next. All right, so if you want to, you can check the box that says restore files that were corrupt or incomplete in the backup. Uh, you can uh, recreate the directory structure if you want to. By default, that is checked. That's a good idea. And uh, you want to overwrite the file only if it is older. Well, we're going to actually want to restore over the existing file. And you've got some other things here, such as restore files with their security information and file system permissions, which is the recommended way of going. So let's go ahead and choose next. All right, restore removable storage data or restore disk quoted data. We're not doing that, although that is something you can restore if you're doing a bare metal restoration. Uh, restore junction points. You want to leave that checked just the way it is. If you want to, you can run a command before or after the restore happens, such as you may want to restart a service or you may want to run some other type of a batch file afterwards. And you may want to also check the box for uh, notification here at the bottom to let the person know that it is all backed up or that there's a problem. So there's a name for this restoration, uh, which you can change if you want. Uh, we can schedule it to run or we can run it now. And this is just a summary of everything we just selected. So let's go ahead and click finish. All right, so we are restoring. Let's just double click on that. And we can see that it is restoring, uh, whoop, and it was successful. So that was very quick because it was just a tiny little file. So that's how you restore a file in Backup Exec 15.